Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello, I am Rose, trainer, lifestyle coach, and this is where I like to share all things natural pertaining to fitness, nutrition, and motherhood. I have a two and a half year old and a almost five month old. We are going on our very first vacation as a family of four actually five, Teddy is coming too. We're gonna go stay in a cabin close to some lakes, a couple hours northeast. This will be the longest drive that we've done, not with Sierra, we've taken her to Montana, which is like a 22 hour drive. But with Logan, this will be his longest drive and the two kids together. So hopefully it goes smoothly and enjoyably. That's a word. First things first, because we are taking the fur child, I have to give him a haircut. When his hair is really long, He's literally like a mobile Swiffer and he collects dirt and stickers and all kinds of stuff. And since we're gonna be in the woods, that's a bad combination. Tons to do, big to-do list to get through today and tomorrow before we leave the next day. Okay, Teddy. Guess what, buddy? It's time for a haircut. <laughs> for our trip, getting really excited. I feel like in every one of my vlogs, I have greasy hair and I'm like no makeup and I just <laughs> I look terrible. But you know what? That is the reality of motherhood. I do admire all the other mommy YouTubers that like take the time to do the makeup and do the hair. I'm just like, no, no, I don't like wearing makeup that much because it's not good for your skin. My hair is greasier than normal because I've been applying rosemary essential oil to my widow peak area, which is where uh, most of my postpartum hair loss has been. I'm trying to, you know, get ahead of that and see if it'll help with new growth. Apparently, rosemary essential oil is as effective, if not more effective than the ingredient in Rogaine. Forget what it is, but hey, I'm like, it's natural. I'm gonna give it a shot. So that's why my hair is so greasy right now. All right, enough about my hair and my appearance. You guys feel me. I do have a huge to-do list today, packing for myself, packing for the kids, packing up the food. I wanna make life as easy and breezy as possible tomorrow. Logan is just looking at me like, who are you talking to? <laughs> I love it. All right, so while the kids have been occupied, Logan in his little bumbo seat and uh, Sierra watching Miss Rachel, I have been slowly accumulating dry good foods that I am putting in this, that I'm, where is it? That I'm putting in this bin here. And I'm gonna go over these so that you can get a good idea of the kind of food we eat on a regular basis and especially kids snacks. I am all about healthy kids snacks. I got everything laid out here. We're doing pasta the first night. So we got our pasta sauce and our pasta, which is the uh, gluten-free red lentil from Trader Joe's, love that stuff. I think we're gonna do steaks and maybe some baked beans. These are sort of a healthier option of baked beans. Still not a healthy item. Bring in some balsamic vinegar for my salads, nuts here, pistachios, raw almonds for snacks, mayonnaise for sandwiches. This is an avocado mayonnaise. I get this for a pretty decent price on Amazon, actually. They come in a two pack. And then from Costco, we got the sardines. I love these for lunch or a snack. Also from Costco, Wild Planet uh, albacore tuna. Olives, Sierra loves olives and these are great little snack packs. Coconut chips, no sugar or anything. These are really delicious, nice, uh, healthy fat satiating. I got some uh, dark sweet cherries here. And this is just a little mix of white mulberries and goji berries. Cook Yes. I like this brand Siete, I love their tortilla chips. They're all grain, gluten-free goodness. Another snacky, desserty item here for the sweet tooth. Got the seaweed snacks, olive oil and salt. These are really good, healthy. Sierra loves these, they're messy, but I like these too. Always good to have. Oh, I forget the brand of this. You would know it if you saw the box. This is a, basically an almond flour, very basic cracker. Sierra loves these. These are not the healthiest thing because they do have soy in them. And soy, of course, is uh, pretty inflammatory for most folks, but we don't have issues with these. I forget the brand of these too, 
but these are basically rice flour seed crackers. Sierra likes these, I like these, so those are nice and yummy. Satiating, relatively healthy. Pork rinds, these are the chili lime flavor. I love the Epic brand pork rinds. So, uh, you know, there's some protein in here. There's some decent stuff. Um, nice, filling, healthy snack. And then okra. Sierra loves this crispy okra. I like it too. Pretty simple ingredients. I think that's pretty much the gist of our dry goods. And I'm gonna try to fit all of that into this little bit. So Sierra and I took a shower. I got her down to nap. I got Logan down to nap. So both kids are sleeping right now. This is the perfect opportunity for me to pack all of our clothes. I'm gonna start with Sierra, then Logan, and then myself. Look how stinking cute this excavator duffel bag is. Sierra is really into excavators right now. I figured when she outgrows this excavator phase, Logan can have this bag. all of Logan's stuff laid out here and I'm just gonna use one of our diaper bags here for his stuff. It has lots of great little pockets for various things. I have everything laid out for my duffel bag, which by the way, love my in and out duffel bag. I've had that since I was 16 years old. I worked there that long ago and that was my favorite job ever. Got everything packed just in time for this little guy to wake up. Daddy's gonna be home soon and we're gonna move on with our day of packing. Say woo! <laughs> and so the loading begins, doesn't it, sweetheart? Yep. You have all the stuff, fishing gear, stroller, sparkling water. On the road for a couple hours now we're almost there about another hour or so we just landed ourselves at in and out burger and we're stretching our legs letting teddy go potty kids have been pretty good during the drive so far sierra's getting a little crabby though she needs to take a nap logan had a little nap so sierra is next hopefully a belly full of food does the trick are you holding teddy's poo poo <laughs> what a good Thank girl you. so sweet Throw Teddy's poo poo away. Put it in. Good job. High five. Okay. High five. Yay. Oh my gosh. In and out is the best my favorite like i said i used to work there so i have always loved this it's like the healthiest fast food that you can get normally i like to get this protein style which is a uh, wrapped in lettuce instead of the bun but i'm like i'm on vacation i'm gonna eat what i want to eat
in really nicely in this super cozy, awesome, beautiful view cabin. Just waiting to put Sierra down to sleep. My friend's kid is already sleeping. They're sleeping in the same room. So we're gonna let him fall asleep, put Sierra down, and then we're gonna get down on some dinner. I got some raw greens here. And then I made some pasta here with ground turkey, pork sausage, and my usual lentil pasta and tomato sauce, no sugar added. So it's gonna be nice. <laughs> I would say light, but. <laughs> spot here at the lake got everything set up for the kids got some shade we're about to get down on some lunch right now sierra's been snacking with me oops gonna have to grab that justin is getting ready to go fishing and i hope he has some good luck so we can have some fresh fish for dinner i wish i could go but i just you know with the kids and everything it wasn't worth getting a fishing license for me realistically not gonna be able to fish it's a little windy but the temperature is pretty nice overall Sierra and the kids are here. Got Logan in there chilling. Sierra snacking away. Love this spot. So beautiful. into our trip now. We had a little bit of a rough night with an incident with Logan falling off the bed, but he's okay. It was a rough night for both of us. We woke up very, very early this morning to watch the sunrise. I'm going to continue my morning with a little more coffee and a walk with the dogs and the baby. Hi, baby. Ready to go for a walk? This is my opportunity to get a little bit of exercise in and hopefully maintain some good energy throughout the day because I've only got like four or five hours of sleep last night. So let's let's get some blood flowing, let's get some energy. Let's just keep some momentum here because I don't I don't want to nap. We're on vacation. I want to enjoy every minute of this. For my 
active mommy friends that have dogs out there, here's a few things I suggest. Get yourself a large carabiner here. I love the retractable leash personally, and uh, I just keep it locked when I want him to stay heel at my tire here, and then unlock it when I let him go potty because he is a male and he needs to go do his male thing. This guy's a little flashlight on it for nighttime, which is nice for the doggy bag holder. And then I got this little guy extra, which holds the poop bag. So I don't have to put them in the stroller and forget about them because that's happened. This is my friend's dog. Hi, Soraya. And she has a jogging leash, which goes just right around your waist and attaches with a carabiner here through these blue loops. So it's very adjustable. And then it has the same doggy bag holder. This is separate, it doesn't come with it, but I like that it um, attaches here. So it's not jostling around too, too much. And got the little swivel action here as well. So nice hands-free jogging leash. Okay, we're gonna keep going. All right, sorry, bud. just as we got back. That was perfect. You ready to continue the day? Go do some fun stuff? Yeah, I think so. You like it? Is it good? Good, mommy put banana in it and some berries. Yeah, there's good stuff in there. Protein, collagen, yeah. Okay, mommy's turn. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, honey, hey, hey, mommy, oh my goodness.
<laughs> that was so much fun at that little lake spot. We are actually thinking about going back tomorrow. We've got a couple kids sleeping. Sierra is actually sleeping down in the truck. And I have Justin here. Say hi, Justin. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just sitting here and enjoying the view, relaxing. I'm gonna feed this little guy some more and then we'll wait for the kids to wake up and decide what to do for dinner. I think it's gonna be another enjoyable evening. <laughs> vacation right now we're at the grocery store Justin and Jesse ran in to grab a few things we are on our way to the same lake that we went to yesterday which is only about five minutes away we just really enjoyed it yesterday the kids loved it it's really peaceful and family friendly there's plenty of shade the picnic tables the whole thing just an easy lovely place all the way around the only unfortunate thing is uh, no dogs are allowed so we're leaving the dogs at the cabin again but it's kind of nice actually because it's really quiet at the lake. You don't hear any dogs barking. In fact, the lake we went to on the first day, there was lots of dogs and the constant barking kept waking up Logan. So that was a problem. That's the plan for today. Same deal, picnic at the lake, lots of water time, sunshine. The rest of the day is play it by ear. You know, kids nap, we have some downtime as adults, maybe. I don't really get the downtime with the baby. <laughs> Let's be honest here. It's rough when you have an infant. It's still, everything is so enjoyable. We absolutely love it up here. It's gorgeous. There's so much cool stuff to do and see. Wish we could do more, but you know, with kids. We'll definitely have to come back and explore some more up here for sure. Oh, yay! Justin's back, yay! We made it. Logan! So much fun so far. Logan is napping, so mommy is very happy. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Justin. Hey. Did you have fun? It's nice out there, huh? Yeah. Are you happy that we came on this trip? Oh, of course not. Yes. Silly guy. <laughs> we gotta move our hats to kiss, or we do sideways. Just do like this. Like that. A little sideways action. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> our one vacation of the summer. It's been so great, though. We tried to put Sierra down twice for a nap uh, unsuccessfully. So she's inside watching some TV. Logan went down for his second nap, which is perfect because I want to get down on a little bit of TRX here. I'm going to do a little stretching and a quick little workout. I love working out on vacation because there's no schedule to adhere to. There's no stressors. Your mind is just clear and relaxed. So you can really like focus on your workout and enjoy it. So I'm going to get down on this and then maybe take Sierra for a stroller walk through the neighborhood and see if we can get her down for a nap because 
she's like I said, she's phasing out of her nap, so. But she's tired. You know she's tired. Yay, TRX. Yay. Let's do it. Logan just woke up, so that was the perfect amount of time to get in a little bit of stretching and a little bit of exercise. I try to target upper body core and legs into a workout if I can, no matter how small or brief. I forgot to tell you what TRX is all about, and I wanna start with, if you're going to invest into any kind of fitness equipment, get yourself a TRX. You can literally take it with you anywhere. You can hang it on a door. I hung it here on the support beam. You can hang it from a tree. So I love taking it on vacation because I can use it pretty much anywhere. Basically TRX is suspension training, leveraging your own body weight for exercise. It's incredibly versatile. You can literally do hundreds of exercise with it and stretches. And what is so great about it is that it targets not only your prime muscles or your prime movers, but also your stabilizer muscles, the smaller muscles in between. So you're really getting a lot more bang for your buck when you work out with the TRX. So I just wanted to say how awesome it is. Number one tool. Love it. Now poor Logan, because we're at high altitude and it's really dry, he's gotten some little like baby rosacea or whatever this is. It's like dry, patchy, red, kind of irritated. This is just a birthmark here that's slowly going away. A little stork bite. This dry skin we have to address here. My friend Jesse has this. No. Badger Balm, which I love Badger products. They are super pure with their ingredients, really hippy dippy natural stuff, essential oils, plant extracts, the whole thing. So I put a little bit of this on here earlier and it helped. And I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more on. But speaking for myself, I get really dry skin on my legs, like flaky, ashy dry sometimes. And especially at high altitude where it's dry when we go swimming and stuff. So I applied some of this this morning, just a little bit on each of my lower legs. And it really has worked all day long. Like honestly, I gotta get me some of this balm, man. It is awesome. These ingredients are right at my alley. No chemicals, no preservatives, no garbage, no nothing that's gonna, Disrupt your system, so Badger saves the day oh, again. Come here, buddy. There you go, yay! Mercer Caverns, which is in the next town down from where we were staying. And it's basically like super cool caves with like stalagmites, stalactites, all that stuff. But we just don't realistically, are not able to do it today with the kids. So we'll have to plan for it another time. We are just going to walk around the gift shop and uh, show Sierra all the rocks and stones because she loves that stuff right now. She's totally in the rock phase. Just going to scope out the facility and get some souvenirs and then be on our way home.
Zoltar machine. That's from the movie Ooh. Big. I wish I were big. I was like, I knew I recognized this. It's so cool. You just don't see that too often. <laughs> We're back home from our trip and oh my goodness we had such an amazing time that was so much fun so, so relaxing so needed we are just so grateful to have had that one vacation this summer and the memories that we made will go down in history thank you jesse thank you to my friend who included us in that wonderful trip what a special treat that was. I'm gonna end the vlog here and I wanna thank you guys so much for your viewership, your support. If you're new to the channel, would love it if you like and subscribe for more awesome mommy vlogs like this, a little fitness, a little nutrition, all that good stuff. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>